to you live via Facebook streaming, YouTube streaming and also via Skype. Each one of you is welcome to this live streaming from our studios in Trinidad. Sutras of Vigyan Bhairav Tantra the Tantra and sex orgasms. I had mentioned earlier there are two types of orgasms. One is the peak orgasm, the other is vanami. The peak orgasm acts as a tranquilizer. It is good. Sleep follows. If your mind is burdened with religion, if your mind is not burdened with religion, otherwise even the tranquilizer will not be helpful. This is one type of orgasm known as peak of excitement, but Tantra is concerned with another type of orgasm. It is the first type we know is know it as peak orgasm or peak of excitement tantra centers on another type of orgasm if we call the first the peak the second is the valley orgasm excitement is needed in both in the beginning It has to be used both. Either you are going towards the peak of excitement or to the valley of relaxation. For the first, the excitement is intense. The more intense it is, better it. You have to help it to grow towards the peak. The second excitement is just a beginning and once you enter both lover and the beloved can relax. No movement is needed. They can relax in a loving embrace. When man feels or the woman feels that something is going to happen, a little excitement is needed. So it goes into the steps, your excitement a little bit and then relaxation. It is like you take the deep breath and then relax. You take a few steps forward, then you stop. Not a continuous walking. You can prolong the deep embrace in that manner for hours without any release of the energy which happens in the first orgasm, then both can fall into deep sleep together and this is known as valley orgasm. Both are relaxed and it is the meeting of the two relaxed beings in peak orgasm Two excited beings, tense, full of excitement, are trying to unburden themselves. This is, this is peak orgasm or ordinary sex act. It is kind of madness, 
but this is what we know. Tantric orgasm is deep like a valley. It is a relaxing meditation. Then there is no question of how often one should engage in it. You can engage in it as much as you like because energy is not lost. The sex is said not to involve too much because in your ordinary sex energy is lost. But in valley orgasm, which is Tantra, nothing is lost. You become a circle of energy. And instead of losing the energy, you gain it. The energy begins to generate within. You may not be aware of it, but this is the fact of biology, of bioenergy that man and, and woman are opposite forces, negative and positive. Man is positive energy, woman is negative. The two complement one another. They are yin and yang or Shiva and Shakti. But in that case, if your head remains dominant, head remains dominant means conditionings, your religious belief system and all these things remain dominant, then the merger of yin and yang, male and female, positive and negative, Shiva and Shakti is not possible. That's why we do a meditation when you sit down in front of the mirror and you place the mirror in such a way that your head is cut off, not showing in the in mirror. So you are seeing only the lower, the body below the neck from shoulder down. This is a kind of a meditation to realize that you are not the mind, not the conditioning or sometimes it happens one experiences this state that the, he, not, he sees himself headless and in that moment the second thing that happens is that merger of the two. It, is, it comes like a realization that you have experience the merger of the positive and negative. Remember in electricity there is a bulb, in the bulb there is a filament that connects the positive and the negative energies together and <clears throat> when the two energies merge into one another, dissolve or <coughs> neutralize one another, <coughs> that is the moment of illumination. In sex act, the two energies need to neutralize one another. The yin and yang, the male and female, the Shiva and Shakti need to neutralize one another. Only then illumination comes. Illumination, illumination comes. There is no release of the energy, instant energy is generated. The process, the principle behind generator is that how does the, the electricity is generated? How is the power generated? How is because of the union, the, when the two forces neutralize one another, then energy is generated. So in that case, they are challenging to one another and when they meet in deep relaxation, both man and woman, male and female, they revitalize each other. They both revitalize each other it is a circle 
energy does not escape they both become like generators they both become they both feel more livelier they become more radiant with new energy generating continuously and nothing is lost just by meeting with the opposite pole the energy is renewed regenerated that is what the magnetic field is you can call it tantric orgasmic field like the magnetic field when the energy begins to flow from north pole to the south and from south to the north the circle is completed no energy is lost is continued continues to be regenerated revitalized so when the during the tantric orgasm the man and woman they become like magnet constantly flowing the energy in a circular form in when you look at it really a magnet it is elliptical but which is another form of circle so it moves from here to there and from there to here it looks like almost like elliptical so movement of the energy the generation is the energy generates in an elliptical form and then continues to be renewed the tantric love act can be done as much as you like the ordinary sex act cannot be done as much as you like because in each act the energy is lost and your and the body will need time to re revitalize itself to regain the energy and when you regain it you lose it again in each sex act you lose the energy it looks absurd the whole life is spent in gaining and losing you earn money one side and then whatever you have earned today you go and waste it and you call it enjoyment you earn today some money you go to the bar and you spend that money energy and waste it so next day you again earn some money you get some money in your hand you go back to the bar and drink it and drink out all the money so you gain and lose so there is nothing saving this happens in ordinary sex act but in tantric sex act you become like a magnet the energy begins to move from one pole to the another the man is one pole the woman is another pole and they complete this circle the energy revitalizes one another you are not losing anything and your body because the energy is not lost if you remember this clearly the, then you can engage in this act as much as you want because it is like generating the energy revitalizing yourself so tantric sex act is the act of regenerating your energies like for instance when you are tired what you do you relax so tiredness and relaxation goes together so in this act when you are totally relaxed in each other's embrace both become like uh, the generators of the energy there is yet another thing which has to be remembered in this you may or may not have observed that when you look at the animals they never seem to enjoy sex they are not enjoying themselves it looks look at the baboons the monkeys dogs and any other kind of animal 
during their sex act you cannot see them feeling blissful or enjoying it you cannot see it ordinary sex act is like this but the moralist has been saying quite the contrary they say do not indulge do not enjoy they say that this is what the animals do this is wrong animals never enjoy only man can enjoy and deeper you can enjoy deeper you can enjoy this act of sex the totally you are in a relaxed state you can create a higher kind of humanity out of that it is out of this act of total valley orgies between joseph and mary that jesus was born a higher consciousness and that is why christians keep on saying that we are all born out of sin in a way they are correct but they have not been able to put it rightly <coughs> when you are in the valley of gaze your energy is not depleting you are in a meditative state at that time when there is a conception a higher soul is invited into when there are thousands of people making love every day and there are souls they are waiting for the right kind of womb depending on your growth depending on your growth like for instance when you go different people go to a garment store they are looking the garments shirts according to their size and choices so size is one of the major criteria what is your size so in the same way what is the level of the soul that is ready to enter the womb it will choose the similar type of womb to enter there are three major categories <coughs> of the beings and three major categories of the womb one is the ordinary womb the ordinary soul the moment uh, somebody dies within short period of time muslim say that it takes 40 days hindus have their own concept but immediately without any delay the soul enters into a new body to continue its journey there are another type of beings who are highly evolved and they leave the world so they have to wait because during the <coughs> when they are looking for just as when you are looking for the if you need a oversized outfit you have to go to a special stores then you remember that there are stores that they sell the garments for 40 and over because that time your choices are different in the same way the soul which has been highly evolved at the time of his leaving the body will have to wait for a longer period of time to find a suitable womb because ordinarily the people who are in the act of love making they are ordinary they are not specialized because you see all around <coughs> the ordinary stores because the majority of the people who are looking for the ordinary garments not oversized garments not extra oversized the that is the reason they are a special garment stores which only deal with over 40 the ladies garments or gents garments because over 40 the ladies require a special type of garments for their own thing. so in the same way that soul will have to wait because 
the ordinary people couples they are love making they are like ordinary stores they are available in abundance all around so you have to wait for a longer period of time to enter similarly <coughs> there are souls which are not highly evolved like in this category comes the criminals and those whose life has been a darkened life they will have to wait to find a kind of a womb that will suit them and they will have to enter so they too have to wait for a long time you can say that there if somebody is extra small you will find it difficult to find the outfit to suit you and at the same time if you have a extra large size or your shoe size is extra large or extra small you will have always problem in finding the right kind of item for you in the same way the souls that are highly evolved they will have to wait for a longer time to find a suitable womb in the same way the souls which are highly uh, negative they will also find a longer time to find a suitable womb to enter so when in a couple is highly evolved and they are engaged in tantric sex act then the higher soul can find the opportunity to use and besides that the soul that has to enter the body it has to like you know the <coughs> the stores that are selling the particular kind of a garment they advertise so what they are doing through the advertisement they are inviting the the relevant people so when a couple is engaged in that kind of a valley orgasm or sex act it is sending a message to the souls that are hovering in the existence yes come i am open you would have seen sometimes you have the people standing outside the specifically the places that are selling the car parts there are people who stand outside and they see the people coming in that area they will call come in come in the same thing happens in the red light area there are touts who are standing outside uh, looking for the customers <coughs> and telling them to come inside <coughs> in the same way the very act when you are in a in a tantric sex act you are sending the vibrations to the souls who are deserving who can enter into that womb this is how it goes on <coughs> when you come back return from this tantric sex act you have risen the energy is not depleted instead it is revitalized it continues to regenerate that is why we use the word generator that generates and you regenerate your energy you feel filled with energy more vital more alive more radiant and that ecstasy will last for hours and hours and for days together it depends on how deeply you are involved in it if you move into it sooner or later you will realize that the release of the energy as normally happens in a sex act is simply a wastage is of no use no energy is needed and that release is necessary only when there is a need for conception need for children and with a tantric sex experience you will feel a deep relaxation throughout the day and then when you are continuously into that your life will be a life of bliss and harmony beyond conflict a tantric sex experience is totally 
totally different it is relaxed you will become at home non violent non angry not nor depressed and this type of person can never be a danger to others and he will always be ready to help the others if he cannot at least he will not make anyone unhappy he is ready to shower as bliss he says i have promised you that i will come come to shower at you when you there is no conflict there is no agony there is no pain i will come verily i will come and shower on you to infinite quantum the shower of bliss the shower of harmony only through the tantric sex act you can create the real man who can know timelessness who knows egolessness and who is in a state of deep non duality with the existence the way jesus was born it was a tantric sex act joseph and mary were not aware of this that is why there is a concept of holy ghost it is like that holy ghost represents the meditativeness it represents the state of total relaxation between joseph and mary at that moment i have the experience of this i can explain this to you in that manner when just like when you are traveling to another city you look for connections where you can go and stay or you make the arrangement prior in a hotel to be your booking so that your time is not wasted in the same way <coughs> just as the souls that are ready to enter they are looking for the right kind of a womb and opportunity where they can grow and continue their journey when i was to enter it happened my grandfather was a sufi master and my mother did not have the marriage line in her hand so one day my grandmother asked you say things for everyone why not for your daughter so it happened that after that the when my mother was got married and was conceived so it was the physical body of my mother and the father but the consciousness was of that sufi master like the holy ghost mother and father are engaged in that act but their consciousness is not the physical consciousness but it was the consciousness of that my grandfather this nakshbandi sufi master brij mohan lal so when i was born i never called my mother as mother i always called her as sister from the very the moment i started speaking i called her in hindi it is called jiji sister and i still there after <coughs> all my other brothers and sisters they calling her jiji sister not the mother i always called my grandmother as mother because actually she was my spiritual mother and the grandfather was a spiritual father and just like jesus the mary and joseph was their physical fathers father and mother physical parents 
but his real parent was the father through the holy ghost he manifested his consciousness at the moment when jesus was being conceived so it this is how the higher souls enter tantra creates the real man and this real man lives a life of timelessness egolessness and life of non duality with existence the dimension a new dimension is opened it is not far away the day is not far away when sex will simply disappear when sex disappears without knowledge then you enter in a state of celibacy that is the reason that christians say jesus was born out of virgin mary but their understanding was total out of ignorance they feel that jesus and mary that mary and joseph never had the physical relationship but they cannot think beyond that because their understanding is that of a primary school teacher primary school student who does not know that atom can be divided when he looks at the formula of nacl he will say there is something wrong unless you are aware of the periodic table where na means sodium and cl means chloride and when the two merges together then it is called nacl it is not a name and you will be saying but is it net and you will be misspell it misspell it misspell it that as nickel n a c l nickel something is wrong it should be nickel it should be this and everybody says depending on his conditioning like the six men blind men went to know about elephant one who get hold of his foot he said elephant is like a pole next one who got hold of his tail he said elephant is like a rope and one who got hold of his trunk he said elephant is like a snake so this is how everybody is interpreting and misinterpreting that jesus was born out of virgin mary she was virgin in the sense that at the moment when jesus was conceived she was in a totally meditative state the moment you are meditative in the act of sex a higher soul you can invite otherwise the children that are born out of the normal sex act they are the ordinary beings when it is said when ram krishna was was born his mother saw the dreamt a six headed elephant was coming and flying over the horizon a gold i think it was gold and when it reached on top of her it dissolved vanished into it similar incident maya devi had when gautam siddharth was conceived the higher consciousness is entering elephant is symbolic a sixth tusker elephant dissolve into that similar is was is reported to have the not reported i can tell you that it was the state when hazrat ubaidullah arar the nakshbandi master was born ram krishna was born that way that's why in the history of human consciousness there had been only five people so far in the present times who has reached to the highest state of pinnacle of aware of enlightenment ram krishna krishna murti raman osho 
Vivekananda was not enlightened because there was an incident that happened. He was enlightened just three days before he left the body. He entered into Samadhi. Because there was a particular incident at that time, in the Ramakrishna ashram there was a man who had 300 stones and every day he will worship these stones and then he will go and uh, the so sometimes it is that by the three o'clock he, he is finished with doing all his rituals and so then he will take his meals. So Vivekananda saw this. So he in his meditation instructed Kalu to go and throw these stones in Hugli river that flowed at the bank uh, of the Ramakrishna ashram in Calcutta. So, while Kalu was going to throw all those stones in Hukli, Ramakrishna saw and he said, What happened? Where are you going, Kalu? He said, I was sitting doing my prayer and a thought came to my mind that I should throw this all these in the river. Ramakrishna said, You go back and continue doing what you do, was doing. And he looked and he called Vivekananda, he used to call him Naren, Naren come. He came, he said, he knew what did he do. He said, from now onwards, you will not get that, that state. So he begged, he cried. He said, only three days before your death, you will enter that state. But he was capable, what he did, that no one could do because the, just for that particular reason he was deprived of enlightenment and three days before he locked up himself into the room no one was allowed to go and meet him and in that state Ram the Ram the Swami Vivekanand attained to enlightenment and he entered that enlightenment of a highest degree so Raman Krishna Murti Ram Krishna Osho and Vivekanand attained to the highest peak level of enlightenment because there are degrees of that somebody of that somebody does a PhD, one does it with a higher grades, one does it everybody who pass out of the university, they are graduates. Some come with the 60% marks, some come with 50% marks, some come. So these were the ones who attained to 100% marks in the enlightenment. So we will continue these things, this talk in tomorrow's session. Until then take care and do have a pleasant day. It happens that more and more explanations are needed. So time takes longer. But I cannot just go on and giving you the ordinary explanation. Only this much for this morning. Until then take care and do have a pleasant day.